If you're a pilot getting ready to take your commercial check ride and you're struggling where to find specific information in the Airman Certification Standards for Airplane, then this video series is for you. Join me as I break down each area of operation task by task in this video series so that you can go find specific information on where to look in the Airman Certification Standards. Hello everyone, my name is Sam, aka Complete Freedom. I have been searching for the same answers and thought I would create this video series to review the commercial ACS for airplane single engine land and breaking down each area of operation task by task and providing references where to study for each section. The goal of this series is to provide short videos reviewing each task so that anyone who may be struggling with a particular task to quickly find a video and learn where to look for answers for that task. I will keep these videos short and to the point and may break task elements into separate videos to make it easier to find specific topics you are looking for. If you find these videos helpful and would like to see more content like this, leave a like on this video and consider subscribing. We will begin with the ACS code CA.1.A.K1 and is broken down as follows. The applicable ACS is CA, which stands for Commercial Airplane. Next, we have the Area of Operations 1, Pre-Flight Preparation. Then we have Task A, Pilot Qualification, and finally, we have Task Element K1, which is broken down certification requirements, recent flight experience, and record keeping. In this video, we'll be only be covering certification requirements as defined in FAR 61.123 eligibility requirements. I will also be covering logbook endorsements that are required for the commercial check ride. The requirements to get your commercial pilot certification are described in FAR 61.123 eligibility requirements as follows. You must be at least 18 years of age, be able to read, speak, write, and understand the English language. You must receive a logbook endorsement from an authorized instructor who conducted the required ground training or reviewed the person's home study on the aeronautical knowledge areas listed in FAR 61.125 of this part that apply to the aircraft category and class rating SALT and Certified that the person is prepared for the required knowledge that applies to the aircraft category and class of the rating assault. Then you must pass the required knowledge test on the aeronautical knowledge areas listed in FAR 61.125 of this part. Next, you must receive the required training and a logbook endorsement from an authorized instructor who conducted the training on the area of operations listed in FAR 61.127B of this part that apply to aircraft category and class rating SALT and certified that the person is prepared for the required practical tests. Next, you must meet the aeronautical experience requirements of this subpart that apply to aircraft category and class rating SALT before applying for the practical test. Then you must pass the required practical test on the area of operations listed in FAR 61.127B of this part and apply to the aircraft category and class rating SALT. You must hold at least a private pilot certificate issued under this part or meet requirements of FAR 61.73 and comply with the sections of this part that apply to the aircraft category and class rating SALT. And finally, I want to cover the logbook endorsements that your DP is going to expect when you show up for your check ride. The first two are required commercial pilot endorsements and can be found in Advisory Circular 61-65 Hotel. The first can be found in Appendix A.34, and your instructor must certify that you have demonstrated the aeronautical knowledge to take the written test according to FAR 61.35A1, 61.123C, and 61.125. Here's an example of what this endorsement would look like. The next required endorsement can be found in Appendix A.35, where your instructor must certify that you have de demonstrated the flight proficiency to take the practical test according to FAR 61.123E, 61.127, and 61.129. Here's an example of what this endorsement would look like. And finally, we have a, an endorsement that's not required. If you're one of the few people who have scored a 100 on your written test, this is not a required endorsement. However, in Appendix A.2, your instructor must review any deficiency identified on the Airman Knowledge Test, 
according to FAR 6139A63. And again, this is only as, re as required. Here's an example of what this endorsement would look like. In this video, we covered the certification requirements found in FAR 61123 eligibility requirements for the knowledge element K1 pertaining to the commercial pilot airplane single engine land. We also covered the endorsement required for the practical test. In the next video, we will continue with the knowledge element K1 and cover recent flight experience for a commercial pilot found in FAR 61.129 Aeronautical Experience. If you found this video useful, like this video by clicking on the thumbs up icon below. Please leave a comment of what you enjoyed about this video and let me know if there are any additional content that you would like me to cover in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and set the notification on the subscribe button to all so that you will be notified when I post new content. Please share this video with anyone that may find this content useful. Thank you for watching.